search crews have made contact with a young woman who got lost during a hike at Michigan. That search continues right now for a missing Rockland hiker, Cody. After he survived nearly two weeks lost in the dense Australian bush. Quibbins police say a man in his 60s was out in these woods late at night playing a game of Pokemon Go. But instead of capturing a Pikachu, he ended up deep in the mud and thickets and in need of rescue. In the U.S., an average of 2,000 people get turned around the woods each year, often with just the items in their pocket. So survival kits are nice, but realistically, if you're not carrying them with you, they won't be there when you need them the most. So what are some things we can add to our everyday carry that won't bulk up our pockets, have additional uses, and will be there in a survival situation. So a pocket knife is really worth its weight in gold. My current favorite is the Swiss Army Super Tinker. This is a relatively inexpensive knife while still having some decent build quality. It has a lot of tools that I use every single day while still being versatile enough for a survival type situation. I think one of my favorite things about this is it has two blades on it. That way you can use one for tasks that tend to dull your blade quicker while reserving the other one for tasks such as cleaning an animal. So what about something like aluminum foil? This is a very lightweight material. It can be folded up, tucked away in your wallet, tucked in with your canteen, even tucked in behind your cell phone in the case. So aluminum foil is a very versatile tool. You can use it to cook your food, create a bowl to boil your water in. You can even place it over an existing bowl to help bring that water to a boil quicker. You can use it as a heat reflector, build fishing lures, funnels, and even use it to help clean some of your cookware. Now cordage is definitely one of the hardest things to replicate in nature. 550 paracord is one of my favorites. It's very durable, it holds up really well for doing bow and drill. It can be helped to secure down tarps, build shelters, create traps, and a whole lot more. Now boot laces can always be used in a pinch, but by replacing them out with paracord, you greatly increase the durability. Now you'll get about a five foot section of paracord per boot, but you can double that length by using some sort of paracord bracelet or finding some other way to integrate that in with your gear. There are several great survival laces on the market, which are often built out of paracord and have ferro rods built in the end, a great additional resource for getting a fire started. But keep in mind, this is also something you could build yourself by purchasing a small ferro rod, trimming it down to size, and then stuffing them in the ends of your paracord before you seal them now remember, a tool is just a tool. You can have all the tools in the world, but if you don't know how to use them, they're pretty much worthless. By taking the time to learn how to do some basic things such as starting a fire can greatly increase your chances of survival. Oftentimes when people realize their loss, they go into a panic mode. And this is often the time that you need to slow down, reevaluate your situation, take inventory of the resources you have available. Sometimes the simplest things could be right under your nose. Here's a quick example. If you have aluminum foil gum wrapper and a battery, you have a great fire starting resource. Start by trimming down the gum wrapper to create a thinner area in the center. This will be used to help concentrate the current from the battery. Get plenty of kindling and tinder ready. Then simply use the gum wrapper, touch the aluminum side with the paper side facing out to the positive and negative side of the battery and place that thinner area that you trimmed down to your tinder. For me, I try to select items that are lightweight, have multiple uses, and are easy to integrate in my everyday carry because statistically, if it's not on you every day, it's more than likely not going to be on you when you need it the most.